Gucci, Dior, Louis Vuitton, Saint Laurent, Salvatore Ferragamo, and Bottega Veneta. All these brands, I've picked up something and I've got lots to show you. Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is part two of my epic France haul. If you haven't checked out part one, it's a pretty big haul. I will leave the link above. So yes, I have got lots of things to show you, a new bag, accessories, something for hubby. So we're gonna get right into the unboxing. So first up is something from Saint Laurent. And you're probably thinking, I didn't see Saint Laurent in your vlog mail. So the first few items are pieces I picked up whilst I was in Europe. But when I came back to Melbourne, they had all arrived. And I do have something to tell you, but let me just unbox this first. This is gonna come at no surprise for those of you that watched my come shopping with me at Saint Laurent. So in here, this little dust bag is, dun, 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 ta -da, the YSL card case in neon yellow. I asked you guys in one of my videos to, because I was umming and ahhing when I was shopping in Saint Laurent here in Melbourne, which color should I get? And a lot of you know me really well because you were like, you were touching the neon so much, go for something bright and fun. So I picked this up, but I actually didn't pick it up from the YSL boutique. I picked it up from Farfetch. And so the good news is, since I released that video about a month or so ago, so many of you have been emailing me and asking, Mel, can you get the Farfetch code again? Because that only lasted, I think, two or three days. So I'm happy to say I have got another code for you, which entitles you to 10% off all new season items. Yes, even the new arrivals on heaps of their brands. So of course, Saint Laurent, Balenciaga, Manolo Blahnik, Ferragamo, Givenchy, Bottega, even Bottega. So a, a couple of brands are excluded like Gucci, but for the most part, I think like 95% of brands are included. In this video, I'm really proud and happy to be working with Farfetch again. So just to let you know, Farfetch did give me a voucher and I've used that voucher to pull towards the items. But as you know, Mel, I always went overboard. So the rest of it, I just paid with my own money. So if you input my code, which is FF, MIM10, that will entitle you to 10% off, yes, all new season pieces, even the latest arrivals. And I think that's really fabulous because a lot of the time, sometimes their permanent lines are excluded from YSL or the latest new season arrivals are excluded, especially items from brands like Bottega, Veneta, uh, YSL, Balenciaga. But yes, guys, happy to report that they're all included in this offer, so make use of my discount code. So this was the first item that I picked up and I'm really impressed with the quality of Saint Laurent card holders. I mean, it's sort of like comparable to Chanel caviar and they come in so many different colors. Mine is with the silver finish, but it comes in the gold finish. Obviously black and gold is so iconic. Price of this is 375 Australian dollars. So if you wanna like brighten up your collection a bit, I suggest going for the neon, but they have pinks, they have blues. Everything I mentioned, I will link down below but I think this is a fabulous card holder, especially for those of you that are starting your luxury collection, a card holder is the way to go. So the next item comes in this massive black bag. I've already taken it out of the Farfetch box. And I also got a few questions from you guys saying, how come it's packaged differently? I've received some Farfetch items and they're packaged differently. And that's because what Farfetch does is that it partners up with like over 950 boutiques around the world. So think Europe, America, Asia. So they have all different partners. That's why they're able to offer such a huge variety in brands. So I thought I'll mention that again. So this particular partner was from the UK and they've just given an extra dust bag which is great because they're always handy. So it is from Saint Laurent and I'm really glad that I thought about this because again, if you look at my YSL vlog, I tried this bag on, I asked you for your opinions. It was super divided. Some of you absolutely hate it. Some of you absolutely loved it. Obviously I loved it and it is Yes, the YSL Lou Puffer Bag. Now this is in the bigger size. 
And the reason why I'm so glad I waited was because I tried it on with the silver hardware in store, but I love this black hardware so much more. It's more understated. I don't know, it's a little bit more edgier. Let me take all these off. Hold on one sec. Okay, there you go, guys. I've taken all the wrapping off and you can see more clearly it's got this matte black hardware, which I love. As I said, I think it looks much more edgier. Always Farfetch comes with one of these tags if you want to return, but I'm past my return period anyway. But just to let you know, because I've been a Farfetch customer for so many years, the return process is super, super easy. A courier actually comes to you to pick it up. Anyway, I'm definitely keeping this bag. And as you can see when I try it on, it is oversized, it is big, but I kind of love that. I am actually really digging bigger bags. I still love mini bags, don't get me wrong, but there's something about a bigger bag that I just feel so drawn to. Also, you would have seen in one of my shopping vlogs in Nice that I tried on the extra, extra large Chanel flap bag, and that is even bigger than this, and I loved, loved it. But you know, I thought I better think about that because that is not an everyday bag. It's more of a travel bag. It is humongous. My husband thinks it is absolutely ridiculous, but I think the bigger the better. But anyway, this is, I thought would be a pretty good compromise because this retails at 2,945 Australian dollars. And thank goodness I waited because I used my own gift code and got the 10%. So you're saving like 300 Australian dollars. Not only that, it is like a third of the price of the Chanel extra, extra large flap. So I thought, you know, let's just go with this first. In future, I'm sure Chanel's gonna bring that bag back. I can just think about it and I can always purchase it in the future. But I love this bag. It is in lambskin. It is super soft. As I mentioned in my vlog a couple of months ago, it is like a pillow. And to open it up, there is quite a strong clasp here. And inside, if I take it all out, there's a lot of stuffing. There is heaps of space. You're not going to be able to see in because it's going to look like a big black hole. But it has one zipper pocket and inside is lined in cotton. It is just so soft and squishy and mushy and I love it. I don't own anything like this in my collection and yeah, I'm just really loving bigger bags. Oh, and just to let you know, I did see that they restocked my Mini Lou in Farfetch. I know a lot of you guys missed out the last time on my promo code. So I checked and I'm not sure how many they have, but they do have it in black, cream, and a couple other colors. I think red and beige as well. So just to let you know, and I've been loving this bag. It is super durable and it fits a lot. A lot in there for such a tiny bag. Next up, yes, so this box I can show you. This is from Farfetch. It really felt like Christmas because when I got home, I had all individual boxes because, as I mentioned, they come from all different partners. So this one here, this is going to come at no surprise because I've talked about getting this for ages. And it comes in a Ferragamo bag. I actually purchased this a few days after when I visited Ferragamo in Cannes. And I did see this in that store, but they didn't have my size. So when I went on Farfetch, I was so happy that they had this. It was like the last one. So let me show you what I got. It is their famous Gancini belt. And the version that I picked I love that they've got this little dust bag on the buckle to protect it too. And the version that I picked is the reversible one. So it is this beautiful dark forest green on one side. And then you can actually unclip the buckle and it's this beautiful sort of like uh, dove gray maybe on the other side. And I don't have green or gray in a belt. So it was exactly what I was after. When I saw it in the car store, I was like, oh my gosh, perfect. But they didn't have my size. So I picked this up in a size 80 centimeters. That way I can wear it on my waist and I can also wear it with high-waisted pants or jeans as well. And on Farfetch, this item cost 478, I believe. Because they come from different partners, sometimes the same 
same item is different prices. I think I saw a couple of the belts even cheaper, but do have a look because they've got so many different colors. And this is a belt that is so classic. It is never gonna go out of style. And I think for the price, it's pretty good because you get two belts in one. So the next item is from Bottega. And yes, it is from Farfetch, but I just wanted to put it in a bag. It did come, however, with the box and so I've already opened it and what it came in from this partner was this bag and it's got the care label and the, you know, polishing cloth and the little label here. But this is the pouch that it comes in, which I love because, you know, Bottega is known for their weave and I actually like soft pouches because it's easier to fit in handbags. So what I picked up is this pair of sunglasses. And what I really wanted was a pair of sunglasses that were a little bit different. And I like that this was sort of like tinted and I like bigger size sunglasses. They're a little bit different for me because I like tortoiseshell or black. Let me put them on and show you. Tell me what you think. So this is what they look like on me. They're very different, but I wanted something a little bit more statement but not too statement, not like a Gucci statement. And I really like the subtle details, like it's gold around here with Bottega Veneta along the sides. I just like the coloring. And do you know what I found really interesting? When I looked at the price of this on the Australian website, it retails for $550, but I actually paid $505 for this on Farfetch, less the 10%. And then I was looking at the black pair and that was, 525. The tortoiseshell pair is a little bit more expensive, but if you were after the exact pair like mine, you're saving like $100 off Australian retail after you use my 10% discount code. So I will leave my discount code and the end date in the description bar below. Do make use of the offer sooner than later because I never know when Farfetch is going to stop the offer. It is supposed to run for three to four days, but yeah, I'll leave all the details down below. So really wrapped with my new pair of sunglasses. And the final item that I picked up from Farfetch, which I think is pretty cool. I actually bought this for Hubby and then I was pleasantly surprised because Hubby, myself and our son can share it. And it is, so it did come wrapped up. Uh, and it is this Prada cosmetic case. Now, the reason why I was pleasantly surprised was first, it is quite big. Secondly, for the price, I thought it was pretty good. So I bought this for 688 Australian dollars. And on the Australian site, it was like $780. So I was thinking it's $100 cheaper. Actually, it was even cheaper because it was 688 after the discount code, it's more like around 630-ish. Let me show you the inside. So it's got this zipper. It is a cosmetic case, but it's got lots of room, so. If I take this out, it does have this or this, you know, waterproof, wipeable fabric. So it's got a pocket here, two pockets here in this part. And then if you flip it around in this compartment, I'll just take out, this one's even deeper. It's all wipeable material. And then it's also got a zipper pocket here and it's got, what's in here? I think this might be the authenticity card. That's cool. Even on a cosmetic case, they have an authenticity card. So the reason why I loved this was because it's really good size cosmetic case. As a family, we can use it on our trip. And you know what? I actually think it looks pretty cool, even as a bag. I mean, you could wear it handheld. I mean, who cares if it's cosmetic case? Like if you think about Louis Vuitton or Chanel, they've got vanity cases. You use them as handbags. Why can't you use this as a handbag too? I mean, Prada's known for their nylon. So I think this makes a great handbag too, whether it's handheld and you know what? I just thought of an idea. Hang on a second. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So what I did, and I actually really like how it turned out, I just got some black ribbon, satin ribbon, and I tied it onto the handle. The handle is sort of like it's in a very durable, like epi leather, or actually in Prada, it's their Sapiano leather. So as you can see, I'll show a close up. I just knotted it and then I so I did it on both sides it kind of looks nice it kind of makes it a little bit more girly and then what I did I just got a black strap this is my Lady Dior strap and then I hooked it 
on to the ribbon so it doesn't damage the handle and voila it's just become a shoulder bag so I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this and then when I opened it up I'm like great the size is great um, you can double it up as a handbag hubby can use it our son can use it I can use it I've made it into a girly handbag it is so good. So I think this is a great gift idea and something great that my male viewers can buy too because, you know, I got hubby just to hold it like that, just handheld. And because it's quite a big size, it looks really good on guys too. So what do you guys think of that idea? Is it silly or is it cool? Comment below and let me know. So next up, let's move on to the things that I did purchase in Europe. And first up is from Hermes. It's just something little, but I was totally looking for it. So I'm so glad I found it in the Hermes store in Cannes. And it is one of my favorite SLGs, the Vastia. And the reason why I wanted this is because it is in one of my favorite pinks, which is Rose Sakura. You guys know I have this in a Constance and it is like my favorite Hermes pink. So uh, the leather of this is in Chev, which is a goat leather. So it is very, very durable. And the price of this is 182 euros. So the next item I want to show you is in this massive Dior bag and I picked this up in Dior in Monaco which was the most gorgeous store and I got dun, dun, dun. yes it was the ready to wear jacket I tried on and it is the bar jacket which is their iconic jacket and it will never go out of style and what I love about Dior is that this jacket each season it comes out slightly different or sometimes it's the same sometimes it has single breasted this had double breasted and I particularly love this one because the collar is a little bit lower I paired it with one of the Dior belts and I just loved how it looked and this color I'm not sure how it's coming up but it looks dark gray in some lights and in some lights it looks like really dark green which I love so I actually do own one Dior jacket in navy blue but it's single breasted but I much prefer this design I think this is something that I'm going to wear for many years to come so the price of this is 3,400 euro and then you do get 20% VAT tax refund back after all the processing fees and everything like that you end up getting about 12% back uh, if you opt to receive it in credit or I think 10.8% if you wanted cash so that is my gorgeous new deal jacket okay next up is something from Gucci I love Gucci bags they're always so creative I actually still collect all my paper bags because I love seeing what Gucci does with their bags so in here is something for my darling husband and I think a lot of you guessed it because I did show it in the footage and it is this classic cardigan with Gucci logo and it is a very fine knit so I think he can wear it all year round and this let me just check the composition I'm pretty sure it's wool Yes, so it is 90% wool and I just love how this fit on him. He bought it in a size medium and it fits him perfectly and I like that I can borrow it and just wear it as an oversized cardigan as well. Navy and cream is a bit of a nautical look and I think this is, you know, pretty classic for Gucci because as you know, Gucci can be a bit over the top but he really liked it, I really liked it so it was a win-win. And oh, forgot to say the price, it was 980 euros and just to let you know, there isn't much difference difference for Gucci between Australia and Europe pricing but it's just that Europe's got a much better variety. Next up is what I bought from Ferragamo. I'm very excited to show you this piece. I was really impressed by their range of bags and let me show you what I got. Oops! So it comes in this gold box and normally it doesn't come in the gold box and let me explain why normally the boxes are red so I picked up yes a bag and it is can you guess Ta -da. Ta -da. the classic 
iconic Gancini bag. Now on the vlog, I showed this bag in Crocodile, that beautiful blue and the classic black. They were stunning. I was very tempted to get the blue. But I thought, no, I do want to stick with something a bit more classic. So I asked them, did you have the plain colors available? And for those of you that haven't seen it in Salvatore stores, it's because not every store carries this. This is one of their, I can't remember what name uh, the sales associate called it, but you do actually need to order the bag. And so some stores may have one or two, some stores don't, but just go in and ask. So... This size is actually the bigger size. You know the versions I showed you in Croc, they were a size smaller. In the smaller size, it does come in classic colors as well. So like black, it comes in tan, it comes in like a burgundy, I believe. But they just happen to have one left in this size. And it's only very slightly bigger, it's not even that big. And I just love this bag because it's been around for years. You can actually find vintage versions of this in the pre-loved market. The only thing is it's very hard to find one in really good condition. If I find any, I will link them below. You can grab such a bargain with these bags, but you probably have to refurbish them. So the leather of this is like, this is a smooth leather. It is going to be a little bit more fragile. It's like a box leather, I believe. So if you open the bag up, inside, let me just take this out, it does come with a shoulder strap, which is not adjustable, and inside it is very deep and it's got one compartment here and one compartment there, and then one zip pocket here and even another pocket here. I just realized this, this, this Ferragamo didn't come with a care card. I'm not sure if it's supposed to. If you guys work in Ferragamo or know someone that does, am I supposed to get a care card with this? I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, not to worry. I'm sure I'll find out. I just adore how classic this bag is. It is timeless. Even though it does come with a shoulder strap, personally, in my opinion, I think this bag looks the best handheld. Let me just give you a 360. So in the back, there is a pocket. Though I'm not, you can fit a phone in there, but I'm not sure how much I want to stretch it out. On the base, there is four feet as well. And yeah, there's not much to say. I just wanted the black and gold because it is just classic Ferragamo. As you can see me wearing it, it does not look too big at all. And yeah, it's a very classic, elegant, ladylike bag. And I was really pleasantly surprised with the price of this bag. It retails for 1,390 euros. So I thought that was really good for such a well-made bag. All Ferragamo bags are made in Italy. I also did buy one small product to help keep the sort of sheen on this. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but even though it's a box leather, it's not matte. It's got this sort of beautiful sheen to it. And yeah, I just love it. Okay, I thought I was done, but I totally forgot about Louis Vuitton. That's because I just picked this up the other day. It's just been sitting there waiting for me and I waited a long time for this. So this was something I requested so long ago from my sales associate in LV. And let me just quickly unbox it. So yes, just to let you know, it is from the Melbourne store. And to reveal... Dun, dun, dun. The pochette accessoire. And this piece, as you guys know, monogram is getting so difficult to get. Yeah, I think I waited, I don't know, nine months or something for this. I requested it so long ago, maybe even longer. And the reason why I wanted this was because, as you guys know, so it does come with a strap as well. And the reason why I wanted this in particular this year is in 1999 so yeah exactly 20 years ago my very first designer piece was this exact bag it didn't look like this the base it didn't have this base but it was a pochette accessoire so it's sort of like a full circle i bought it in 1999 i have a vintage version and i wanted this one in 2019 the same bag and so this one here i definitely want to give to miss s as her first piece when she's I don't know, 16 or 18 or something, because it was my first piece. So that's the story behind that. And this retails in Australia for $760. So yeah, 
so happy I could get this bag before the end of 2019. And yeah, let me know if you ever want to see a comparison between the vintage version and this version, because it's quite interesting. They have made a few changes. So that is it guys, that is my entire haul. Yes, there's quite a lot of pieces that I picked up from France and also from Farfetch. So don't forget if you did want to take advantage of my Farfetch code, it's just FFMIM10. Oh, and just to let you know, it can only be used once per customer. So if you were wanting to add a few pieces, you only can use the code one time. I'll put all the details down below again. So if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching again. What I have next is actually a Prague vlog. So if you guys were interested in visiting Prague, it is the most prettiest city. I have a travel vlog up next for you. So do keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, have a wonderful day or night and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.